Hello everyone, this is Nikki Bishop and today I'm going to show you a short demonstration of the Essential Asset Monitoring solution for pumps. So let's get started. The first screen we see here is the home page. From here you can see the status of each asset being monitored. Right now all the assets are healthy as indicated by the green boxes and the health values that are shown. I'm now going to drill in and get more information for the pump. What we see here is the pump process display. You'll notice the health value is reported at the top left along with any active alarm text. Right now the pump is healthy so there's no alarm text shown. You can also see the value and the status of each input on this page. So let's now go over to the inputs tab. On the inputs page you can see the current value, the average, and the baseline value for each input. There is also a trend window available here. I'm going to add the discharge pressure and vibration values to the trend. To do that, you can simply click on the value for that input. The baseline values shown here represent a snapshot of the data that has been captured under normal operating conditions. Once the baseline is captured, all alerts are calculated as a deviation from this normal operating condition. I am now moving over to the configuration tab. From here you can configure the alarms. To see the details for alarm configuration for a specific input, simply click on the input name. You'll see the associated dialog box open up on the right. You can also click on the question mark for help on configuring the alarms. Let's make this demo a little more interesting and look at the case where the pump starts to cavitate. The active alert is now for pre-cavitation. This is a warning alarm as indicated by the purple text. To understand what triggered this alert, I'm going to add one more value to the trend. This time I'm going to add the standard deviation of the discharge pressure. The reason I'm looking at this value is because we expect the discharge pressure to change with flowing conditions. However, we don't expect the variation in this value to change. Because the standard deviation of discharge pressure has gone high relative to the baseline, the pre-cavitation alert is active. At this point, none of the vibration inputs are high. Let's now look at the conditions that cause the cavitation alert to be active. Keep an eye on the vibration measurements on the trend. You'll see that the peak view value is increasing and is now high. Now look at the health value and alarm. We are now showing 20% health and a critical alert for cavitation. This is a great example of how we are using both process and asset data to determine overall asset health. In this case, it was the process measurement of discharge pressure that detected the precavitation condition alone. Then, the combination of high peak view and standard deviation of discharge pressure triggered the critical cavitation alert. Now let's go back to the process page. We can clearly see the critical health and the cavitation alert active at the top left. 
We also have indication of the high vibration with the flashing red text. This concludes the demonstration of the Essential Asset Monitoring Solution for Pumps. I hope this has been helpful to you and that you can see the benefits of combining both process and asset data to determine and report overall pump health.